All right, welcome to the new playlist I'm considering, Impromptu Tuesday. Let me know what you think. Unscripted, unrehearsed, on the fly. I pulled up to this job. I was like, hey, look at that line. I was out here in the, the road waiting for the vehicle in the driveway to be pulling out, and I noticed this line of snow across the bottom. I was just like, hmm, that, that's kind of a dead indicator of there may not be enough insulation in the attic, not enough adequate insulation up in the attic. It's one way you can tell provided there's snow on the roof winter time there are some factors on if it's a dark colored roof what direction it's facing in relation to the sun those are some things but for the most part when you go and you look at that that's a dead giveaway the heat is radiating through the ceiling lack of insulation in the attic and it's going up and melting the or heating the underneath side of the decking of the roof causing it to melt the snow runs down and if you look at it let me run you up get a little closer look you can see it's starting to draw off and melt more, but as it goes down the lower two foot and around the whole house, granted it's right in the western facing or south facing, it is melting because of lack of insulation and running down. Gets over your exterior walls. That two foot, guess what? That's about two foot right there. It runs down, it refreezes. That's what they call an ice dam, and that's why you want to have ice and water shield installed on the lower bottom edge of your passes. Not just the valley, but in the bottoms. Most areas, northern regions, they want you to get above the frost wall or above the freeze wall. I don't know why I call it frost wall. I'm thinking foundation. But they wanted you to get it over so it's high enough where if it freezes and melts back down, you don't have ice dam issue. A shingle is designed to shed water, not waterproof your roof. So if you have an ice dam, and I'll link a picture of it up, up here. It melts, runs down, hits the frozen blockage ice dam. It will back up under your shingles. The ice and water shield is designed to seal around your nails as another barrier if it happens to shed the water. Check out this icicle, by the way. I'm looking at it. I want to let this thing hopefully hang on for dear life and melt longer and freeze lower and see if it can make it till tomorrow how long if they will grow to the bottom. Now, it's been a while since I've been out of school. Leave me a comment. Is it a still now obviously it's in a cave not icicles but stalagmite or stalactite I cannot remember how back when I was in middle school how they taught me to remember but obviously it didn't work because I don't remember is it a stalactite that hangs or a stalagmite that hangs let me know just a random thought for this improv to Tuesday I gotta get busy I'm working solo today got this L section to tear off maybe check uh, possibly an upcoming video on that I don't know let me know your thoughts have a good one.